So the Seven Star Mewtwo has just released, and we was actually the first in the world to clear it, which is awesome. It hurt his brain a lot, but someone in our chat called Presno did do the math, and we was the first to clear it, so that's amazing. Builds will be pinned in the comments. So turn zero, Mewtwo is going to hit us with a Calm Mind, increasing its special attack and special defense, and then it will put its shield up. Grumpig is going to use simple on us, so all our stats are doubled when we use things like Iron Defense. And Mewtwo is most likely just going to spam Calm Mind at the start of the raid to boost its special attack by loads. We use Iron Defense because of simple, it goes up by four stages our defense, so that stops Psy Strike. And then it's going to start to use special attacks and do a lot of damage to us, so we're going to use Amnesia to get our special defense. And then Grumpig will use Psycub to copy our stats so it can survive. And then we use Swords Dance to go on plus four attack, ready to attack here. And then we're going to use Leech Life until we get our Terrestrial Ice. Just to be safe, we do use Sars Dance to go on plus six attack because this Mewtwo can take a beating. Now, as you can see right there, we're on plus six attack, plus four defense, plus four special defense. So we do a terrestrialize and then we go on the attack. As you can see, look at the damage. It's literally next to nothing. This Mewtwo can take such a beating. It's incredible. But that's where the metronome item comes in place. 20% more damage each time and the helping hand from the Grump pick helps a lot as well. After that hit, he did nullify though, so we use Iron Defense again, and then we use Amnesia again to buff our defenses, and Grumpig uses a Psycope to copy them. And now we're going to use Sol's Dance again to go on a plus six attack, and then it's time to get attacking again. So we do manage to finally get rid of that painful shield, and now it looks like it's going to be a very smooth raid from here on out. The shield breaks, amazing. At least that's what you think, and then the Mewtwo will use Rest, which is fun. And its health will go all the way back up to full, but luckily it's asleep. At least that's what you think. And then it's holding a chest berry, so that's even more fun for you right there. we got to take on a full Mewtwo again. We have 6 PP left and a Dream, so we do start attacking. Not doing that much damage, but we do have help in hand, so that could just push us over the edge and make it enough to win. As you can see right there, that was our third Leech Life. That was quite a lot of damage because of help in hand and our held item metronome, increasing the damage even further. So we use it again, do a lot of damage, and it's looking like it's going to turn out okay this time because this is a very painful raid. But then plot twist, the Mewtwo nullifies us again and makes it look a bit rough. This time we're just going to use Sars Dance. We're going to ignore the defenses. It's probably on like minus six special attack now. Anyway, we have two Leech Lifes and a Dream. I think we need a crit here to win. But instead, the Mewtwo crits us, nearly takes us out, but thanks to all the struggle bugs, it doesn't. We use Leech Life, let's see how much that does. It's only doing a tiny bit, we definitely need a crit here. You thought I was going to say we got the crit, we definitely did not get the crit, and he's got a little bit of life left, but we're all out of Leech Lifes. So we do have to rely on the Rock-type Mew, that's the wrong Terra type, and I'm pretty sure it's not Eevee trained either to finish it off, so we're kind of scrambling here. But if you had a team that set up for this actually properly and was communicating, then I'm sure you would do this a lot easier and a lot faster. If you do find yourself in this situation, make sure to cheer, go all out to make the raid end quicker, your team does more damage, all that good stuff. And we finally take down the Mewtwo after a lot of trial and error, which is awesome. First people to do it. Thank you to everyone that helped me out on this raid, and look at that, we get free gold bottle caps and free ability patches, which is absolutely incredible, and we're even getting another ability patch at the bottom. And now it's finally time to put our Mightiest Mark on our Mew, Mightiest Mark Mew, that's absolutely awesome, and we also have a Mightiest Mark Mew too, as you can see in the party right there. Now once I've done some more testing and it's a lot more figured out, I will release another video if we find a lot faster way of doing it for you guys. Smash the like button if you found this video helpful, and I'll catch you on the next one.